There are many unusual and strange things around us. Some of them can be found in nature. For example, the zebroid, a hybrid mix between an equine and a zebra. This one here is a zors, the mix of a zebra and a horse. <laughs> Looks pretty nice, right? Another strange and rare animal is an albino snake with its white skin and red eyes due to the absence of pigmentation of its body parts. And this snake is even more rare when instead of one, it actually has two heads. There are also many unusual and strange things that are made by humans that can leave us extremely surprised. Let's explore them. Let's start with universal serial bus ports or USB ports. Often we find that there are not enough USB ports on our computers to charge our phones and connect a mouse, keyboard, microphones, external drives, you name it. Extra ports are always welcome. However, Packing them closely may not be a very good idea. Let's take a closer look at this example. These ports seem to be way too close to each other. Indeed, if we try to insert a USB drive into the middle port, the other two ports will become unusual. This because part of the USB drive will partially cover the nearby ports so that not enough space is available for the other connectors. This same problem can be also caused by the USB drive even if the ports are adequately spaced. Fancy shaped USB drives can be pretty large up to the point of covering part of the USB ports next to them. All of this is because designers do not necessarily consider how USB ports and USB drives will interact together. Another interesting and unusual fact is the building process of the Hochrein Bridge, often referred to as the Laufenburg Bridge. This bridge that spans across the Rhine River connects the two cities of Laufenburg, one of which is located in Switzerland and the other one in Germany. During its building phase, however, a miscalculation led to a dramatic result. While the two sides of the bridge were being built, the constructors realized that there was a gap of 54 cm in height. This was caused by the fact that the bridge height was measured using the sea level as reference. Germany used the North Sea level as reference while Switzerland used the Mediterranean sea level as a reference point. And it may not be obvious, but the two sea levels differ by 27 cm. And while this does not make much of a difference when you're measuring something like the height of a mountain, it can be significant while measuring smaller objects. Construction crews on both sides were aware of these 20 cm errors, but unfortunately, someone performed the wrong corrections and that caused the height difference to double to 54 cm instead of going to zero. Whoops! <laughs> Luckily, the constructors were able to find a way to fix this and complete the bridge. The last strange fact that we are going to analyze is the French railway renovation. French authorities definitely did not expect this while they started the process of renovating the train cars running on the railways. The new cars that were selected and both were larger than the original ones. And while the wheels matched the railway tracks, the increased size of the train cars created significant problems during normal operations. Indeed, 
the larger trains will not fit in some of the stations and will scratch their side on the railway platforms. Also, trains traveling in the opposite directions will not be able to pass each other when traveling on parallel tracks. The problem was that the size of the new cars was based on the measurements done on stations less than 30 years old. These stations are wider than the older stations and because of that, renovation of the station platforms and even some of the tracks of the railway was needed with a substantial cost overrun. It's crazy, right? All of the cases we've analyzed are examples of bad design. Each case had a different oversight that created the final problem. However, all three cases have one root cause, the lack of a model to visualize the final product and verify that it would work as expected. The distance between the USB ports could be easily compared with the size of a common USB drive. This could be then used to verify the drive will not obstruct the other ports. Similarly, comparing the models of the bridge, it will be easy to discover if there will be a misalignment due to difference in height. And in the final example, creating a model of different size railway stations and train cars will certainly have helped prevent any additional expenses to renovate the stations and the trucks.